for a while. audio issues we used recently so yeah uh, we're gonna start Warhammer first game it's a new game Is my audio coming through? Okay. Okay, now that I know that my audio is coming through, uh, we can carry on. So yes, as I say, uh, four classes to choose from in the game. Uh, you have an Empire Soldier, uh, if you really want to fight for the Empire. Uh, you have a High Elf Mage, a Slayer, which would appear to be like a Barbarian Dwarf type character with a pair of axes, and a Wood Elf Scout. Now I usually do prefer to play with the more um, stealthy sort of characters. Uh, in these kinds of games, but, you know, that does appeal to me. So we could be Alessa, Braggy Axebiter, Elantir, or Conrad Volen. A lot of people probably like the Empire option. Uh, I'm torn, I really am. Yeah, okay, I normally go with a ste stealthy character, but let's let's get a kind of a start with an Empire Soldier, I think. Uh, yeah, so Conrad Volan, a true bastion against chaos. Volan uses his shield and military strategies to turn his enemy's power against them. The more his attackers try to overwhelm him, the more effective he becomes, decimating hordes of the wretched creatures with formidable counterattacks. Uh, I do need to move my chat window... Because uh, it's kind of in a really annoying place. So just one sec while I just reposition my chat. Because it's in a really annoying position, to be honest. Um, I don't even know where all the UI kind of things are going to appear in the game. So I'm going to put it up in the top left hand corner. Because that seems a little bit better, at least just now. Yes, Conrad is a veteran of the mighty armies of the Empire and is known only war. Cynical and contemptuous, he is unrivaled in the art of combat. Great. Uh, we've got this one. Uh, elven magic is known to be among the most dangerous weapons in skilled hands. He's a high elf prince. Uh, we have... Raggy, he's a slayer. Formidable fighter seeking tougher duels and ever more dangerous opponents. Or a wood elf scout. Using a bow, or it looks like a dagger. Yeah. Those are basically the characters, but I'm going to start off with a soldier, I think. I feel like that's probably the easiest way for us to get into the into the game. Uh, so, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's have a look at the options. Okay. Uh, difficulty wise we've got easy, normal, hard, very hard, chaos, chaos 2, 3 and 4 and 5. The loot quality will improve on everyone but I don't think I'll do very well at chaos 5 to be honest. So let's just go with normal. I feel like that's acceptable. Let's have a look at the graphical options. Uh, so we have a brightness adjustment, I'm going to just adjust it up very slightly. And HUD size and that's about it really. The damage font, I get one or two, but it doesn't show me what the font is. 
So it doesn't really help me that much. Uh, let's go with one. Uh, in game options, we can display game help, at player icons, player names, enemy HP. Uh, yeah, summon HP and all the rest of it. So that's exciting. Uh, is this game... Are we multiplayer only in this game? Let's have a look. Okay, so it, instead of giving me the option of like a... I cannot join a selected game. Oh, I don't want anyone, I don't want people to join me. Can I not play offline? Oh wait, I'm going to find a game. I don't think that's what I need to do. I think I just click play. There was a time when an empire yeah, there we go. In Nome, and the empire was at peace. But that was long before you were born. So I guess that's what we're doing. Is the only life you've ever known. Your father was a swordsman in service to the Elector Count of Reichland. By the time you were 15, he was dead. And his Let's see what it's all about. Passed to you. You've lost count of the number of battles you fought. Some were victories, others defeats. Most were fought over the same barren hills and empty... We'll see how it goes. I've had some, a few connection issues the last couple of days, so... Um, I'm hoping things will stay... Then came the news of the chaos stay up and run in. Spoke of the end of the world. Uh, were right. With the empire divided, most of it's working okay. Cool and his horde. But then a nobleman from the old imperial capital of Nome stepped into the breach. This guy his speaks really quick. Madness, and he called upon the warring elect accounts to stand as one and try I'm not sure he should be chaos. speaking so fast. Can't keep up. You expected Nome to listen, but this time was different. Magnus's message spread like wildfire across the empire. Spread like wildfire. Within weeks, you and your company were on march, joining the growing army as it headed north. Not even a lifetime of battles could prepare you for the nightmare that waited at Kislev. Just when all seemed lost, Magnus and his knights launched a desperate charge against the Chaos Warlord and his bodyguards. Well, here's hoping it doesn't take so, too long. You and your men held back the horde until Asabar Kul had fallen. It yeah. was the company's greatest victory, and it's last. By the time the battle was over, you... The last man won. stand in. Once the dead were buried, you accepted Magnus's invitation to join his retinue and return with him to Nome. After the so let's see how things go. Kislev, defending the Empire from its foes is the only battle worth fighting anymore. Get ya. Got ya. Understand. Now... Like it would appear to me that you're able to allow other people to join your game. It was an age of lawlessness. I prefer to get to grips with it myself, but let's see. Dark magic, treachery, and war. Hmm. It is a night made for witchery and evil, evil deeds. deeds. And across the city, guardsmen clutch their weapons tightly and count the hours until the dawn. Sleep is hard to come by on a night such as this. The air is tense, and memories of the battle at Kislev leave you restless and on edge. Suddenly, a peal of thunder shatters the stillness, followed by a howling wind that shakes the tower to its foundations. Foul magic curdles the air, and screams echo in the courtyard outside. The tower is under attack! The tower is under attack? Sounds like trouble in the My word. I'd better take a look. Yeah, we better. So use L to move. There's there's a surprise. Anyone guess that that was going to be how you move? I mean, they could have they could have done R, but L is what it is. Okay, so we've got an attack with the right stick. I guess we're going that way to get out of here. Forces are storming the tower. I've got to get to Magnus. Okay, so we got Chaos Forces storming the tower. Uh, a, A, is to attack. Presumably on PlayStation it would be X, I guess, to attack. Uh, we've got something else that looks like my healing items on the LB. 
Uh, and yeah, if we swipe to the right, we got an attack there. Or to the left. So, okay. The stick seems to do a kind of stronger attack. The right stick. Uh, I don't think there's much lying around here. There's no loot or anything. Uh, game looks really nice. Um, I'm just wondering what the options, like control options are. So is this an online game or not? Yeah, okay, so yeah, I can be online or offline. I play with friends only, etc. Okay, that's acceptable. This is the kind of game, I guess, where sometimes you might be better to fight with other people. We'll come to the conclusion about that soon enough. Uh, what's that? Some kind of... I don't know. Anyway, we're going up this way, through this door, set on either side by... Griffins? No? I don't know. Creatures. Works very similarly to uh, Diablo 3 in terms of controls. Press A to attack. Obviously you'll get extra attacks as, as you as you build up your skills. Um, we have to kill all the enemies in this area. And it looks like we might have done that. Didn't get anything off those enemies though. No loot. I feel like it's going to be... You know, as with any of these sorts of games, that's obviously the most... The most use useful thing. What does that attack do? It does do quite a bit of harm and it knocks them off as well. Uh, we can use a potion by pressing LB. I don't really think we needed to use that, but okay. And we have a soldier to speak to. Dead guy. Is that Beetlejuice? Careful how many times you say that. Thanks, Sigma, you're here. Yeah, there thanks, Sigmar. Everywhere. The tower's being overrun. Tower's being overrun. Stand fast, soldier. They're here for Magnus. Yep. Where is he? Yeah, where's Upstairs Magnus? The room room. There's armor in the chest by the stairs. Take whatever you need, but hurry. Okay, so there's armor in that chest over there. Guess we'll open that up. We'll see what we got. A sword and a breastplate. To view our equipment. All right. Well, oh, I see. Yeah, it's very similar again to the way. Wait, I'd already equipped it. Okay. And apparently, I've already equipped that too. Well, okay, good. We equip the items. It seems automatically if uh, if they're good enough. Uh, I get skill points. I'm being attacked and it's showing me something while I'm being attacked. And I can hear that I was still being attacked. I've leveled up. So I've leveled up. Right, okay. So in my basic skills, I'm being attacked again. One sec. So I think it's great that the tutorial kind of takes over and stops you from being able to see what's going on. That's that's interesting. Okay, so it told me to loot because I'd leveled up, but it doesn't appear to be actually allowing me to do anything. And we have Whirling Slash and Slash. So those are the two attacks we have. And we can spend skill points on these blessings, I guess. 
increases gold. Plays a special emote. Oh, wow. Now we can increase our looting radius with this one. Uh, change the look of our headgear. What we spend skill points. Change the look of our headgear. One sec. Okay, that chat window in the top left is not really going to work for me. I think it's going to have to be in the bottom right. Seems to be the only piece of kind of on screen real estate where you can actually uh, not cover things over for now. <laughs> One sec. So it seems like that's the only place I can put the chat where I can then see everything. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can we can use these skills. Uh, experience. Oh, cannot change the skill at the moment. I, I I would need a skill to be there for me to be able to change it, wouldn't I? So okay, it says level one's required for these, but we're not actually able to equip them. That's uh, interesting. Well, I guess we're going to have to continue on for the moment then. Just take out some enemies. Okay, so the Whirling Slash is an attack where we kind of spin round. I guess that'll uh, be a bit more of an area of effect kind of attack. One more guy up here. Yeah, so that will catch them a little further. Uh, my archetype ability is Shield Smash. Uh, and that's what the R attack is. So the, the right stick will do a shield smash. Um, and we can build a charge to upgrade the skill. To make it do more harm. And stun enemies. Interesting. So that's kind of everything with regard to how those attacks work. I've got some passive skills, but I need to be level 5 or whatever for those. And some fan skills which don't appear equipable. There's no sort of upgrade to our skills or anything like that, but you do have advanced skills and god level skills. Call down Sigmar. To be granted bonuses to damage. Seems exciting. Okay, well let's get to the throne room because that's where we've been told to go. And maybe we'll have some time to do stuff. Okay, so we got to the throne room. And I guess we're going to see something happening now. Oh, foul magic. Foul chaos sorcery. Absolutely. It's for the Empire, after all. The sorceress is gone, leaving you and Magnus for dead. The shouts of angry men fill the throne room, but these are not witch hunters. Well, they just missed the witch, didn't they? You know, if they'd been here just a short time earlier, they'd have they'd have got them, wouldn't they? For a moment. Just to clear a little bit of background noise there. <laughs> There's a high elf helping us. Of course, because they're not dark elves. You better not fall then. I agree. 
Oh, we don't want him to die then, do we? Obviously. We want him to survive. To thrive. Aha. Achievement, get your feet wet. We finished the prologue. Leveled up once. We didn't get to do very much. Um, but okay. Not much loot that we've found at the moment. But let's speak to Techless. There are dark and bit twitchy, the controls. Work in the city, Captain. If we are to find the sorceress and defeat her, we must confront the dark cult that has taken root in Nuln and expose its mm. secret. Market. Confront a dark cult. I hate to say it, but it sure. must be a job for Voss and his gang of witch hunters. Probably should. You saw the mayhem. The but you know, they're going to do a he heck of a lot of damage. Yeah, they would just they would just be a problem in general. Wouldn't they? Just be a problem in general. Not if we want the Empire to survive. Alright. What do you want me to do? Well, we have to go on an epic quest. Obviously. He keeps like slashing at that guy with his sword. Our position here. Look, there he goes, he's going to put on his shoulder and he's going to swing out in front of him and it'll actually go right through the guy. <laughs> Look! That's a bit of an odd animation. I've chopped him in half! I keep chopping him in half. There is no telling, you're right. There could be any manner of beasts around. Is there nothing in here that I can that I can have? Nothing I can loot? I'd rather not be swinging my sword around and attacking people, but no, there is no loot for us to enjoy. So we're looking for the sewers. We can go to the sewers. There's a few different places we can go into. That's the throne room that we were at already. Do any of these things work now? Apparently not. So all of these things are actually nothing. Uh, that's the room we started in. We've got not much going on here. Okay, so in this area there's not a great deal around for us to deal with. But we are going to go down into the sewers for our main quest. Because we don't have any other quests at the moment. No side quests. Because we have only just started. I'm sure that will change. But for now, here we are in the sewers. We have to explore the tunnels in our descent into darkness. Uh, certain skills require energy before they can be used. If you don't have energy, you cannot use the skill. You regenerate enemy by damaging enemies with basic skills. So the basic skill is the uh, single attack with the A button. So we can regain energy by attacking with that. Uh, I could do some actual loot items though, that would be quite helpful. See some enemies down below. Let's keep moving. See if we can take them out. Yeah, so obviously my my secondary attack with the B button, the rotating slash, uh, uses energy. That's a that is a mass of enemies. Oh look. A big one there that didn't decide to follow the others. Made up of lots of little ones. Shooting poisonous gas. Don't like that. Don't like poisonous gas. So it looks like all we're really picking up at the moment is gold. Uh, or currency at the very least. I guess it is just gold. Uh, it feels very similar to... 40k one that I forget the name of right now um, that I also enjoyed in fact I never, I never actually finished that game I probably need to get back to it at some point so I'm assuming the different characters have slightly different storylines there we go cleared up a little bit of a mass of enemies there there are lots of them. Here we go. 
Oh, he's, he's got some ranged attacks, just one sec. They just keep coming. They just keep on coming. Oh, I see. If I allow these clouds to continue before they dissipate, those things will link up to become a giant beast. Okay, we did pick up some inventory items here, so let's see what we found. Well, the good news is they do equip automatically, so that's a good start, I guess. Sorry, I just need to, a bit of background, just one sec. Looks like the Talabeklan soldier's breath, breastplate is a little bit better than the one we had on before, so... Quick change. Ah, so now we're able to use those skills. Okay. But, uh, was that the one I wanted? Oh yeah, no, we want that one. Oh, okay, so we can fill those three slots. Um, we aren't wearing any headgear, so I don't see much point of that. Let's increase our looting radius, that'll save us some time. Alright, okay, we can only have two of those. We can only have two of those? No, we can have three. So there we are, we can have three of those skills equipped at once. Maybe we'll unlock more of them later, I don't know. Uh, we can't upgrade to any other skills there at the moment because we haven't leveled up enough. So for now, let's continue. We're being followed by a bird. Definitely wasn't there before, so that must have something to do with one of those uh, skills we just added. Uh, we have no more healing items. So that'll be interesting. Okay, I thought that you could get an attack on that, but apparently not. So it turns into a mass of enemies, rather than just one. How many of them are dead and how many of them are still alive? So yeah, they'll mass up like that and then once you break them down they'll have to beat up the, uh, the smaller sold, the smaller creatures. Probably screaming what those creatures are at me right now and I'm just, you know, totally oblivious. But, uh, you know, nothing too difficult at the moment. Could do with some more. Oh no, we have got more healing items, sorry. I don't know if those healing items are continuous or if it's just. These enemies are just coming from absolutely nowhere. Oh wait, there's two paths. Let's go up the right hand path. I'm just because I feel like. Well, either path's going to take you to the same place, I'm guessing, but... Uh, quite an enclosed sort of area, so there's an air, plenty of space for enemies to kind of... Uh, slow you down. In these... Uh, kind of areas. We've added another skill. Uh, shielded Charge. And we've also found another Veteran Medal. A Helmet, that's great, that's what we want. 
helmet on. Uh, let's have a look at our level. I don't think we can actually... Oh, and we're being attacked. So the game doesn't stop, obviously, because the game uh, is played uh, online as well as off. Uh, we have all of these skills. We can't, like, buy any new ones just yet because we're not leveled enough to do it. Uh, obviously, yeah, there's look, look, there's like three tiers to each skill there. Okay, yeah, so you've got a standard uh, ability. You've got an upgraded version of that ability, which is the superior version or the mastered version. Obviously, you can choose one of these uh, to use. I can see that there are still another three skills at once that you could have, potentially. Um, so, yeah. Uh, at level 4 we'll get the Banner of the Empire uh, to give me a damage bonus. For now, uh, we don't need to worry too much about how the skills are getting stacked up, because you don't, you're don't you not buying any new ones to replace any yet. Potentially, I suppose that might happen at some point soon. Depends how quickly we level up. May as well clear this side while we're here. Just so we can pick up anything and everything that's there. More than money than anything else. Any more? Okay, there we go. Plenty of barrels to destroy as well. Just not very much in them. Right, okay, I think we're okay now uh, to continue up and fight whatever's here. There we go. We've got a different skill, uh, Shielded Dash. Oh, can't use that yet, though. We can knock back enemies and stun them with that attack. That clears that area, though. A uh, couple of paths again to choose here. So let's go... I'm looking actually... Let's go up the left hand side this time. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the paths do kind of converge and kind of split a little bit to go in various different ways. I'm not sure which path I'm supposed to be taking. Well, that looks nice. Uh, we're gonna go this way. Just because I'm interested to see what uh, what is this way. Few enemies, but it seems to be an area that's just kind of... Oh no! The path will go further. I don't know that I'm going the right way. I don't know if there is a right way or a wrong way. Uh, there's not a bigger map for me to look at or anything at the moment. Uh, we can go this way. I might go this way actually, we'll go straight up. I don't know which path's going to take us out or which path's going to take us to our next place, but... A lot of enemies around. Yeah, so very much like... Um, Diablo 3 in the sense you're just basically slashing away, looking for loot, as you'd expect, I guess, from this kind of game. Uh, yeah, so, which path do we take? Do we go left? Do we go up? Do we go up? I think we'll go up. In fact, yeah, it looks like this, this ends anyway up here, so, uh, yeah, we want to clear this area, find out if there's any loot up here. I would hope with a path end in there, I can see there's a chest, in fact. And we found a different shield, different shoes. I say different shoes, I'm pretty sure we didn't have any shoes on to begin with. Uh, helmet's fine. Yeah, look, like the shoes, we've now got shoes that we didn't have before. Uh, we've got that signet ring equipped. But that one's better, so... Oh, we've got both equipped. Have we? Wait. No, we haven't, so we want that, that lead signet ring. Um, and this shield, because it's better than the one we had. I yeah, know, we have both of those equipped anyway, so it's fine. Uh, that veteran's medal's better than the one we're using now. I think all in all, 
We're pretty much fine at the moment. So yeah, that's the end of that area. Uh, so yeah, we did need to go down that other path, but it's as well we went here first to get any any excess loot that was required. Uh, this is a type of game that I do tend to enjoy quite a bit, so... There we go. So yeah, I was looking forward to this coming out and I'm enjoying it so far. It works in much the way I expected it would. And I would highly recommend it if you liked the uh, Warhammer 40,000 game, if you obviously like Diablo 3 or Diablo in general. Or any other such game. From a similar sort of perspective, you know. Neverwinter Nights, Icewind Dale, any of those sorts of games. Obviously, some of those games I mentioned are a little more tactical than this one. But we are still early on. So we can't really draw any conclusion as to how much more you have to do tactically. Plus, we are just on the normal difficulty rather than the crazy number of difficulty settings there are in this game uh, that mainly serve to uh, provide us with better loot, really. Or more loot, anyway. And it's the, an ever-expanding quest for loot. And, you know, to resolve a problem. To help Magnus... Okay, yeah. So a nice, a nice area. I have heard some issues some people have with this, which is a lot of the time the areas are not drastically different. Um, I don't necessarily have a problem with that, if the storyline makes it enjoyable. Um, we've cleared the sewers. Where are we going now? Uh, we will at some point get back to doing... Wait, we went in that door and we've come out that door. How have we gone round in a complete circle to come out the same door again? Seems odd. I'm not going to argue. We come back to Teclis and we it tell him that we've cleared the, the sewers. Surrounding the tower have been cleared, but there are signs that there are larger enemy camps. I didn't... What signs? Excuse me. I do not doubt it. The oh, the servants of Nurgle. And darkness and filth. Our battle against the cult has only just begun. Mm-hmm. It certainly has. I mean, I'd hope it's not come to an end. That would be kind of rubbish. When you, are ready you know. For your next task. Well, I, I've just come to you now. I'm ready for my next cast. Next task. If we have to fight the Plague Lord and his beasts, so be it. Uh, so we got uh, 1,050 experience points, which doesn't put us up to level 4 yet. And we got some gold crowns. There we go. It was gold. Golden crowns. See Teclis in his chambers. Uh, okay, I'm, I can see him. Is that it? We just have to see him. There he is. No? There is grim okay. news from the tower. Grim news from the tower. Has learned that a large group of Magnus's guardsmen have gone missing. He believes they might have pursued the cultists into the sewers during the attack. So back to the sewers we go then, is it? Hot-headed fools. The sewers are a maze. They could have gotten lost in the tunnels. They could have. Worse. We didn't see them, so you know. Someone needs to find them and try to get them out. Oh, so yeah, it is. Cultists haven't trapped them yet. Back to the it's sewers we go. Matter of time. Sure thing. Well, I got to locate a survivor. Oh no, we're going to a different door. Accept that. A different door into the sewers. That'll take us somewhere else entirely. I guess we're okay with that. seems like, you know, it's, it's, it's a straightforward game to get the hang of in order, 
in terms of how to play it. So you definitely can't complain about it being uh, bad in that respect. Um, it flows quite nicely, the controls are pretty fluid, pretty smooth as well, pretty fast. You know, sometimes with some games you don't move around so well. Uh, with this one you do seem to get quite a bit of control of, of your movement. Uh, which is good. Where's he going? Coward. Running away, are you? Come back. I'll bite your legs off. Maybe it's only a flesh wound. We've got some roaring. And just some general noise. Keep the noise down. Keep the noise down. We were told. So yeah, quite a lot of them. I mean, this is what you kind of expect from this kind of game, isn't it? You know, quite a bit of, uh, lots of enemies. Oh, he's a ranged attacker and he's been hitting me with poison, I think. So I'm, I'm poisoned. But it doesn't seem to have done any major damage to me. Uh, i got a bank of cannons there. Oh, more enemies. They seem to have an awfully uh, long distance... Uh, view, you know, they can see you from quite far away. Well, I say that, but I mean, it wasn't that far away from them there. Okay, so we've got another new skill. Uh, this is the banner, which gives us extra attack power. As long as, I guess, we're inside that, that circle, yeah. So as long as we're inside that circle, we've got stronger attacks uh, with that. Maneuver, where did they come from? They were hiding inside the cannons. Human cannonballs, but inhuman cannonballs, maybe, I don't know. I have to say, there's not a lot in the way of... Well, I mean, I suppose there is some AI there. I mean, the, those guys are moving away from you while the others mass around you. He's slowed down. We can do that and just boost our attack power again useful. A lot of noise outside tonight. Wow, that's a lot of guys. We need to make use of all of our abilities now. Oh, and there's an awful lot of them just around the edge. Just uh, pop a little healing medicine. Yeah, they're, they're spreading out quite a bit. You do get kind of locked in place a bit when you start attacking, which is a little bit different, a little bit frustrating. Can't pause my game. It's interesting. You've got a pause menu there, but you can't actually pause. Oh, my battery's low on my controller, apparently. Sorry, I just want to check something because there's not a lot of noise I'm hearing, and I'm wondering if uh, a window might be open behind me. Yeah, that's why I was hearing so much noise, because the window was open behind me. So we'll just close that. Reduce the amount of background noise. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so there's an awful lot of guys that have been burned, it looks like, there. These are the people I killed. Are they just burning in, on the spot? Oh, look, off he goes to try and get himself into an advantageous position over me. They're all doing it. Now that's annoying. I mean, if you have an area where you're surrounded by like five or six different ranged attackers and they're all running off to different corners, that, that does create a little bit of an issue. Stunned him now. It does seem like when you're attacking, you are kind of stuck to where you're standing. No, um, I haven't seen like a rolling ability or anything like that. Maybe that, maybe that changes with other characters. Because everybody obviously has a very specific set of kind of abilities and things. Uh, so yeah, maybe that changes with the other characters. I, I'm liking it. Some of the positions of the enemies, they just seem to wait for you to come and find them. Uh, we're still poisoned. I've not lost a lot of health yet, though. I kind of feel like your best option is to just 
waiting when you see them come towards you, let them surround you and then use your your spinning attack, which obviously takes more of them out. Uh, just got a passive skill, which I have not equipped yet, so I need to equip it before it actually is useful. Passive skill, there we go. Uh, for each ed nearby enemy, damage dealt is increased and damage taken is reduced. We'll definitely have that. Uh, so level 5... Okay. There are some other skills there that I'm seeing. That looks like... Okay, you need level 7 for that one. Level 6 for the incisive breakthrough. Okay, useful attack. Oh, looks like we're being attacked again. Oh, I did that wrong. Uh, enemies just appear from nowhere. At times, it seems like. There were no enemies around us, and then suddenly moved into our area. Mind you, maybe that suggests the enemies kind of patrol a bit, rather than just all kind of staying in one kind of stationary position. So that's good as well. No, I haven't found any chests around here yet, which is a little bit weird. And I feel like in a game style that's always driven by what you can find, you know, the loot that you can dig up. Oh, I slowed him down. He does like running around though, doesn't he? You know, they just run away from us all the time. Here we go, more. Oh, we've got a guy with a bow, or is that a crossbow he's using? It's hard to really tell. Uh, I don't think there's any adjustment of... Um, I didn't want to do that. Uh, there isn't really any adjustment of viewpoint or anything like that. You don't have any any options. You can't... So you can't kind of zoom into yourself any by the look of it. Which, you know, isn't necessarily a, a deal breaker. Uh, the left and right trigger buttons don't appear to do anything, although the LB and RB do. Uh, I feel like they could they could map an extra two skills to those buttons if they're if they're no use, you know. I mean, okay, you don't want too many skills mapped at once, but you know, it, it helps to reduce the kind of restriction on what you could be using. But the other definition of that would be it makes the game too easy. getting to use my banner skill uh, mainly because obviously you have to be in a specific area for it to, to actually really work which does reduce its effectiveness to some extent mind you at the same time you don't want that skill being completely uh, exploitable you know if it, if it was too exploitable then you might have a bit of a problem up some extra items there. Oh, we've got some more guys. Just want to take a look at this path that's obviously available over here before we continue on the other path that I guess we're supposed to take. So a few guys here. Uh, that guy's gone pretty far to try and use his ranged attacks on me. I do feel like maybe somebody with a ranged attack of some kind might be a better choice. Uh, just it saves you chasing those guys around all the time because that seems to be a pretty common thing I'm noticing just now is if you've got a guy that attacks with a ranged weapon they run around in circles the whole time so you end up running around in circles around them if you're if you're a warrior type character I mean it, you can use your shield bash type skill there oh uh, some more shoes I'll probably get attacked while I'm trying to put on this equipment. Uh, that helmet's better than the one we have. We've got gloves on that we didn't have before. Okay, three different pairs of shoes now. Uh, it looks like these Nuln soldier shoes 
should give us a bit of a boost. Um, the helmet that we've got on is the best one. So yeah, up we go to continue towards this survivor that we've got to find. Assuming he has actually survived. There he goes, ranged attacker going on a run again. Little jog. Just random enemies just standing around. Seems like they just come and attack as soon as they appear slightly on there. Okay, so we've got a new skill, incisive breakthrough. Yeah, that seems to be quite a good skill. It gives you a couple of attacks at once. Oh, down we go. Is this going to take us eventually into more sewers? Yeah. Looks like it. More sewers. Infected by the minions of Nurgle. Okay, so we are filling up our our actual skills pretty quickly. Uh, no other passive skills available to us. I wonder just... Oh yeah, so look. Every skill, yeah, as I said before, every skill has three levels. A superior and mastered level. Uh, do we have to pay to unlock those, or do we unlock them by learning? It looks like we have to pay to unlock them. And they'll obviously just replace um, the existing skill as that happens. Uh, if I had to guess, we we're all at level 6 just now, so I guess that's the skill that's going to open next. Break through the ranks. Uh, another shield one that will damage and repel enemies. So okay, we'll, we'll give that a try. A couple of different routes we can take there by the look of things. So we're going to come across more of these massive masses of guys who stack up on each other to create a, an even bigger enemy. Oh, we didn't finish him. Oh, we did finish him now. Uh, but again, poisoned. Poisoned by the minions of Nurgle. I guess technically it's probably some kind of some kind of plague. It's biological warfare is what it is. I guess this is a closed path with a chest in it. And in that chest we get some more shoes. Another veteran's medal. Uh, that veteran medal does give us more defense. It reduces our attack, so we're not going to bother too much with that. Do we actually... Yeah, we didn't actually have a ring equipped there, but we had two rings. Now we have two rings equipped. Uh, the Middenheim sh soldier's shoes are a bit better than what we were wearing before. Got some other... oh yeah, Talabheim soldier breastplate. Seems to be better than what we had. And the helmet. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay. So yeah, some empty areas where you'll... Well, some closed off areas where you usually find chests. So look out for them. Definitely investigate around when you're when you're in the world. Don't just take the obvious path, necessarily. Everyone should know this already. You don't just take the straight path. Not if you want to have enough loot. So we got path down there. I can't do that right now. Can't use that attack at the moment. We can boost this. Uh, ranged attacker hiding just out of just out of range there. But alas, he'll fall like the rest. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm not sure which way we want to go here. Two paths. Is that one... Well, that one's closed at the end, so I guess we're going to find more... Uh, more loot here. Uh, new breastplate, new 
new sword. Well, we haven't had a new sword in a while, so hoping that's going to be better. Well, that breastplate's better than the one we had on. Sword, oh yeah, much better. Giving us 25% more attacking skill. Uh, this veteran medal again uh, gives us a bit of a boost. It does boost our maximum health by quite a lot though. It's only reducing our attack by 0.3. I think we can probably live with that. Because we'll probably find something else that will boost it again in a moment anyway. It does just gives us a bit of a better health level. I don't know if we're actually picking anything up. Um, well, there's another veteran's medal. Oh, there's more enemies coming. I don't know if if the healing items, if that's just permanent. Uh, but obviously you have to wait for it to... Um... Okay, no, that's the new one, and that actually doesn't do anything useful for us. Okay, let's move on up to the north, I guess. Oh, let's go this way first. Please we'll clear everything. No point leaving any enemies standing. And we're going that way. Yeah, the, the enemies seem to be more intent on running away from you initially. I'm ready for them. We can take them. So yeah, very much uh, what I expected the game to be. Uh, enjoyable. If you like, you know, if you enjoyed things like Diablo 3 or the like, you will probably like this game. Uh, but we are early on and we don't obviously know how much more advanced this gets. As many of those kinds of games you could get quite advanced attacks and things. Uh, it looks interesting though because obviously you're boosting your, your attack power a lot by... Uh, by upgrading your skills, the specific skills, not just buying a new skill. And having a few different tiers of this on the skills is good as well. I think it gives you a bit more of an idea of what's kind of going on. Damned cultist. Lord us. So let's see what he's got to say. Cultist lured you into a trap, there's a surprise. Too many of them. Too many cultists, I guess they're in here, are they? Take it easy, soldier. I'm going to get you out of there. Yeah. They took them. Not sure how. Anyone's still able to walk. Track them. Screaming. Into the darkness. Oh no. Forget they might convert them to chaos. Me. Find the others. Find the others. Sure. Why not? Let's find the others. I'm not scared to fight these guys. Those ranged attackers do get a bit annoying, to be fair. I also sometimes think the enemies, because they run past you rather than straight at you, it's a bit odd. So maybe some slightly screwy kind of uh, AI issues, but nothing... Again, as I say, nothing I'm particularly concerned about. So far, at least, it's been fairly straightforward. We are playing on normal, not on Chaos 5 or something. Because I feel like that's just a little much for me, to be honest, at the moment. Especially just starting out, you know, maybe we'll change that up if we go for a second character at some point. Hey, you know, it's a... Generally likable game, runs at a fairly smooth pace. Uh, I'm running on Xbox One X, I don't know if... Um, it certainly looks quite nice and quite smooth. Certainly can't say I've got any problem with that. So yeah, no, overall... Quite a nice sort of, uh, quite a nice sort of game. But it was too late. Oh, let me just they check something. They into an ambush and cut to pieces. Most of them, at least. The cultists took the rest. What's this? 
They took the rest. I know. Men were alive when they were taken, yeah. And what does the cult want with a handful of prisoners? What does the cult want with a handful of prisoners, indeed? Good question. Sacrifices. Offerings to the Lord of Pestilence in exchange for more power. We must do everything we can to prevent this. We have to do everything we can to prevent this. And make whatever preparations you require. Then return. What preparations? I can't. There's not like a shop or something, is there? Not that I've seen. Oh, we unlocked the Collector's Guild, though. Maybe that's something useful to us. Uh, visit the Collector's Guild. Right. Let's do that, then. That is just where? Just up here. Well, that was it. I can make a donation. Or I can trade. But I don't want to make a donation. So back to Teclis we go. While we were away, he crept around there and went back up into the throne room. Wait, what? No, that was the way in. At least there's no more enemies here to take advantage of us. Oh, look, we've got some nice uh, murals. The warriors of the Empire. Battling. And that looks like it's a battle against chaos then. It's the ruinous powers of chaos versus the light of the Empire. Something like that. There is no time to waste. Even as we speak, the cultists could be preparing to sacrifice their captives. They could be, they probably are. Yeah, it's dangerous. We don't want them to succeed. The enemy will do everything in their power to keep you from reaching the captives in time. Choose your battles. So we have to choose our battles wisely. That presumably means no slashing through everything. As long as we don't get like a um, time limit or something. What is that? Oh, that's Magnus, isn't it? So we came all the way here just to go all the way back out again. That, that I mean, that's, you know... It's a little frustrating, but not anything... Not anything extremely troubling. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, I didn't need to do that. Oh, we did it anyway. Are we going back to the sewers again? Yeah, we are. We've got to save some prisoners in the sewers. Well, yeah, we're going on the main quest. There's not any other options for me at the moment. I haven't gone around and spoken to anyone in this place, mind you. I don't know if they have uh, side missions for me yet. This is still a bit of a tutorial area, isn't it? So they may not yet have uh, a huge amount of options in that respect. Here we go, we got to get over there. Well, let's just get it done. Get a little bit of a boost. I feel like something that could be quite useful would be probably... A... Maybe one day he'll do the same for me. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I will. In the meantime, you get going. You're rescued now. So I don't know where all the fights are going to be. But it looks like we succeeded there. Okay. Where could all of the battles be that we're looking for? See, it says to pick my battles carefully, but here's the, the downside to that idea is that regardless of what I do, I'm going to get followed by a mass of enemies if I just don't immediately fight them, aren't I? I'm not seeing any, um...
not in any more things showing me in it, showing me... Oh look, yeah, we've got a time limit, nine minutes. So we do have to be very careful about where we fight. Um, I don't see... So there's no more here that I can see another person needing freed. So yeah, we just come all the way around. So yeah, we probably need to think about not fighting every single group of enemies. Oh, I didn't. I did miss some items from there, though. So yeah, the best option it would appear is just to keep running. But they're not going to stop following me. I don't think. No, they're not. They're going to continue to follow and attack me, which means it's really quite difficult to kind of, as it says, pick your battles because I suppose if I don't double back on myself, maybe that'll help. Basically just move forward continuously. There you go, seven minutes or so to, to save people. Okay, it probably starts out about ten minutes, doesn't it? Right, okay, I'm not going to be too concerned. There's nobody in this area, so just keep going. Need to just uh, heal up a little bit. Mm, this place looks a bit nasty. Oh, there we go. There's somebody over to the right. That I don't seem to be able to get to. Just do a quick circular attack there to take out a few people. There's nowhere for us to go there. I can't do that right now. Oh, there was a weapon there. Right, we're having some we're having some trouble. <clears throat> I found another location where there where there's somebody needing rescued, but I've no idea how to actually get there just yet. Um, doesn't appear to be anybody over here, so we'll head up the way. Oh, there's like three people in one place there. It looks like. Oh, we're kind of surrounded, so we'll need to just clear, do a bit of clearing there. Let's see if we can rescue these people. Oh my. Oh, I can't use more healing just yet. Which isn't really surprising. Obviously I wasn't going to be able to do that. Uh, we've leveled up. We've got the superior slash unlocked. I don't know if it immediately gives me the superior slash. It doesn't look like it. We have a bit of a problem with, it, with these. And we are not going to be able to heal up yet. We might die in a moment. We might just die in a moment. There we go. Healed up. Good. We've got five minutes to try and clear all this. I need to clean that, get rid of that big thing. Look, it's almost killed me already. Oh, we're almost dead. Last breath. Well, you might have to. I won't forget this. Okay, we've rescued one. You saved my life. And two. You and three. That's good. So we've rescued four out of seven soldiers in this horrible place. I think we need to just run. But I can't see any other way we're going to succeed. Oh my! more horrible creatures to try and beat off. I mean, you know, you know what I mean, don't you? I didn't mean that. <laughs> we just need to keep moving. There's one guy down here. Probably find another one of those giant things to attack us. Just heal up a little bit. Okay, so I can't... Come on, that's it. Bring, come into the circle. You know, it looks like not all the enemies are following us, so maybe maybe we're okay. There we go, five of them done. There's another guy up the top here and another guy over to the right there. So just, so basically all we have to do is just make sure we run into the room, into a position where we can actually fight 
them off for the for the uh, rescue. So we've only got one more to rescue. Now, I don't know. Presumably the last room's going to be pretty filled with enemies, I would imagine. And we've got another thing of... I don't really have time to... I've got three minutes. Let's see if I can just check my equipment. Equip that helmet. Uh, equip that breastplate. And that sword. Those gloves. Um, those shoes. This shield. And we've got some other signet rings, but they don't actually do much good for us. Okay, so we boosted our defense and everything a little bit there. Uh, but you do need to be pretty quick. Um, you know, kind of changing your equipment because you don't stop being attacked, first of all, which obviously isn't necessarily a big problem. Okay, well then we're not surrounded by enemies, I'm quite surprised. I thought we'd at least have one sort of boss level character there. But two minutes to save one guy and only like one enemy to kill. Saved his life. Maybe one day he'll be able to help me. Probably not though, eh? Oh, here we've got another chest. I will leave the sewers. Just as soon as I check if any of this stuff I just picked up is better than what I have. That one's better than what we had. Okay, now this signet ring... Oh yeah, that was that was the signet ring that wasn't quite as good. And we've got a veteran's medal there that's slightly better. Okay, we can leave the sewers now. Mm, if I can find the exit. Oh yeah, just up there, I think. There was a door up here, wasn't there, when we were here last time? Yeah. I can remember this place. So yeah, you don't need to fight everything. You could, once you've rescued everyone, I guess, go back and, and fight some more if you wanted. Um, and it would, pr it would be quite good, it would help us level up. Now, that's something I need to check, actually, whether I need to actually select the improved skill. Or whether it's just already active. No, so it's not already active. So we want to switch that to the level 2 version of that skill then. Uh, we've also got, we unlocked that one. The break through the ranks option. Uh, I wonder, what about these? Did we unlock any more of these passive skills? The next one unlocks at level 10. Uh, we're level 8. What's that going to be? It'll reduce the potion cooldown. Well that'll be useful. Let me get that. I wonder, can we do any trade here yet? So I can't trade. I can't do a relic hunt. I can make a donation. So yeah, if I donate items to the collectors... to change my battery. Okay, so um, we can donate items here, and when we level up we get we get items for for all that. Well, we can donate all the weapons and equipment that's obviously far less than what we have. Basically all of that. Um, we'll trade all those. Uh, all these breastplates can go. I don't know if I can... Yeah, it looks like I can... No, it looks like I'd have to actually... Do each item, each section, one at a time. Well, that's fine. They can have all that stuff. I don't think... Uh, confirm. 
the, these gloves can go. Uh, we don't have any, any leggings or trousers of any kind. Nothing there is uh, better than what we have anyway. I don't know exactly what that does for us, whether that actually is. Those don't seem to be worth bothering with, really. Uh, yeah, these are all old. And useless. And yeah, I mean the rest of those are about the same. There's not much, not much need for those. I don't know if that. Uh, look at that. Look, it put my reputation not much higher. So that's good, I guess. Eh. I have nothing to give him. And I don't get anything out of it. So every time you level up this section. Uh, apparently you get some extra item. Um, we gave quite a lot of equipment there, but we're nowhere near leveling up yet. Hey, at least we rescued those guys. Back to Teclas we go. For more missions. I got to the cultists before they could start their rites. Yeah, we saved the captives. The captives are safe. Well done, Captain. The Chaos Gods withhold their gifts from those who fail. This will weaken Good. the cults and increase our chances. We just have to make sure that we can stop lots of them, don't we? Now is the time to press our advantage. Return to me as soon as you are ready, and I will have a new task. Oh, good. Uh, we got 3149 experience points. Good. And 500 crowns that we can't actually spend anywhere yet. Uh, we got an extra veteran medal. We unlocked Bloodlust. And that's really all we've done. Uh, Bloodlust. So how does that work then? Right, there's our skills list. We haven't leveled up yet, we need to level up to level 9 at some point. Uh, we have no points available for skills anyway there at the moment. And yeah, there's not a lot really left for us to do at the moment. Presumably some of these skills will start to get more uh, increased soon. I can see that um, this skill, the Whirling Slash, is going to improve at level... I assume level 9? Yeah. So there's nothing much we can do right now. Uh, we can't trade yet at the uh, collector's place. So, you know, it's kind of like... Basically we're just relying on pickups at the moment. Which is fine, but I mean... You know, so far, all we've really done is gone to the same place repeatedly. Still can't trade with him. I don't think there's anything else. I wasn't told about any other things that had unlocked or anything like that, so... Since Early days yet. Been on the defensive, reacting to the enemy's plans. That ends now. Good plan. We must seek out and destroy the cult's source of power. When you say we, end its reign of terror here in what you mean is me, right? And how do we find this source of power? Follow the cable. The cult must have. Oh no, wait, no, that's not right. Throughout the sewers, find one and capture its leader. So you have to find a camp, capture the leader, and then the leader will tell us what we need to know. Will he? Do we think that he'll really tell us? Well, I guess we'll find out. Off we go to the Chaos Camp. Back out this door that we've already been out. To a place where we've already been. I'm assuming that there are more places to go to than this. Uh... See, that's... A different area, I think. Okay, the Beast Lord. We're looking for the Beast Lord, apparently. Yeah, we've leveled up to nine, so we can increase our Whirling Slash ability as well. Let's just do that quickly if we can. 
Uh, yeah, whirling slash level two. Oh no, we don't have enough skill points. We need 10 skill points to equip that. So more fighting required, I think. What's that red thing over there? Well, that's a healing item of some kind. Saves us using our, po our potions, I guess. What was this? Some sort of demon? Oh, we've got two of them there. Looks like a demon. He never got a chance to draw his weapon. Oh, there's more of them. They're not that difficult to defeat, though, so... You know, it's not a major issue. Oh, here comes another one. While I'm fighting a load of other guys. And he, he's too slow to fight back against me. But that won't be the last we'll see of those kinds of enemies. Look at this. We're surrounded by them. Now, a lot of our extra skills there actually help us with this, though. Because um, not only uh, are the abilities that when we're surrounded by enemies, the more enemies there are, the better my attack is. But also... Um, the skill I used with the banner will give us a bit more as well. So yeah, basically, I mean, with regard to this character, uh, we've got one of those whirling dervishes of enemy body parts. Just what we need. And they burst into a cloud of poisonous gas. Oh, more of these demons. I'm not scared of these chaos demons, or demons, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. Uh, more, more tiny little annoying creatures that have all just massed up into a big enemy. Yeah, okay, this seems to be... I didn't try that attack before, that one seems actually quite useful. Oh, we've got one of these things now. That's going to start causing me some problems. And we've got two of them. If we can stun those things... Uh oh. Need to heal up. Okay, that's, that's a little worrying. Well, that one's dead, but look, oh, I'm gonna die. I've died. I've died! Uh, several options to return to battle. If I quit a level, I'll have to start from the beginning again. Okay, so I'll pay to revive. How much does that cost? Uh, okay, so I've got fragments. Whatever they're for, I guess they help me, uh... They help me revive myself. Stand inside that circle to get a bit more attack power. Yeah, okay, so those enemies are a little more difficult to deal with. They have weird tentacles that they shoot up out of the ground. Okay, that... I was losing health quite quickly there. Okay, we got them. Yeah, these enemies are a bit tougher. Uh, they've definitely... They definitely do a lot more damage. Yeah, look. I'm almost dead already again. After healing just a short time ago. So now I need to stay away from them. Until my... Until my healing potions uh, fill back up. It does seem like sometimes you can't move. Once you start slashing for your attacks, you're stuck doing that until the game catches up with your key inputs. I understand to an extent, but it's a little a little frustrating as well. 
Please don't give me more of those technical beasts. We are not them. It's just one long, one long straight path, really. And we haven't found anywhere. Oh, we're going down there. Let's see. We haven't found any uh, chests or anything to give us some additional equipment, have we? But we have got additional equipment. Uh, Soldier Berry. Uh, that veteran's medal's better than the one we had. And that sword's better. And that shield's better. Hopefully that's going to help us a little bit, although that berry does look pretty silly. I can unleash bloodlust by pressing the left trigger when the bloodlust gauge is full. Collect red orbs when enemies die to heal myself. So when the gauge is full, I can press LT. What does that do exactly? Wow, it makes us like an absolute juggernaut. It makes us almost unstoppable. For the short time that it's active. Now, how quickly does that bloodlust meter fill, I wonder? So far, not very from what I can see. Oh yeah, if we pick up the red orbs, that's what boosts it, I think. So as you pick up red orbs, that will increase your bloodlust skill, and once that's up there, you've got a period of time where you're almost unbeatable. Not too difficult to defeat. But they don't, it's not like they give you that regularly. Oh, I've got one of those damn tentacled things. And he did not seem to react too well to being stunned. Okay, so his tentacles will shoot out of the ground. I think that might be what I'm getting caught out by, to be honest. I can't do that. You not take me alive. Just use that uh, healing potion while I can. Okay, so that's going to be difficult. Oh, he's barely taken any damage at all. And I can't... Because he's got that tentacle attack, I have to be really careful not to get taken by that. I can stun it, but it doesn't look like it actually takes a lot of damage. I'll fight until my last breath. My last breath is going to be in just a moment if I'm not careful. Yeah. So yeah, you will start dying quite easily. Uh, we can still pay to revive. We've got plenty of... Uh, Fragments. We haven't got bloodlust, so that's a bit of a pain, but... Good news is, it looks like we have started actually doing some damage to that thing, but we're... Oh, I thought we died again. That would have been quite annoying. So mainly, yeah, that, that big guy is... Quite frustrating, and we're about to get attacked by at least one of these spinning things. We're almost dead already. So yeah, you don't survive very well for very long. Maybe my equipment's not great, maybe I'm not using my skills the way I should be. This is not my final hour. It might be. <laughs> It might be your final hour if you're not careful. That's good. Not what I wanted to do, but it's good. I guess. Not much more here. Uh, I do want to just go around and make sure I've got everything I can have. Yeah, that, that bloodlust skill really takes a long time to refill. Oh, but we've got some stuff here that I didn't see. Let's see, what can we equip? Nothing useful there. Now that signet looks better than the one we had on. Oh, we finally got some breaches. And no weapons that were any better. Okay. 
Well, at least we've got a full, a full set of armor now by the look of things. Might not all match. But we've got a full set. Only downside to that, of course, is that that means we uh, need to actually change the items now. Rather than just simply picking them up. So we've got to try and capture the leader of a chaos camp. But if it's a chaos camp, I'm going to assume there's going to be an awful lot of enemies at it before we get a chance to even get near the leader. You see, the combos there, as you're attacking, you end up over, like, doing the combo continuously. You can go away. Okay, well, the good news is, we are picking up more of those bloodlust things now, which we weren't before. I don't know if it's because of the types of attacks we're using. But that seems to be... There's definitely an improvement there, I would say. Nah, we didn't use that skill in the right way. But we're getting there with the bloodlust. I feel like I don't want to use it just yet, though. Not on these little things. I feel like we want to keep it until we see whether there's one of those big tentacle beasts waiting for us. Because if there is, obviously it's going to be taking precedence over the normal little enemies. Oh, well, we've got a lot of these demons here though. And they, don't, they are not, you know, they're quite strong. Put that ability out there so that we can try and make use of it to improve things. Uh, find another bloodlust thing. So hopefully we're close to um, to actually making better use of that. Looks like we might have found the camp. And our bloodlust is right now at full, but I've noticed it will drop. Here's the camp. Oh my goodness. We might be in some trouble here. Let's go. We'll just use the, uh, yeah, the bloodlust skill definitely seems to help because you don't actually you don't die. looks like using it. Just uh, try and stun that. Okay, we're, we're okay now. Was that their leader? I just skipped all that. I don't know what the hell he just said. Oh, we've done it now. Okay, so how do we get out of the sewers? Oh, I didn't want to go that way. So we need to find an exit now. Okay, so those are the fragments that we can use to to um, revive ourselves, I guess. He's gone. Nothing of use there. Just a chance to get poisoned by the look of things. Oh, there we go. There's the exit. So really that fight wasn't too bad. I mean, once you've got the full bloodlust meter, that's that's kind of a game changer there. Um, because yeah, I mean, if you've got a couple of those boss type characters at once in a regular fight, you're gonna you're gonna struggle. <laughs> well, you're gonna struggle if you're playing on your own, like I am. Uh, if anyone's interested in playing along, let me know. I have your prisoner. My See what we can do. But I don't know how useful he will be. He's more beast than man. Are you surprised? He's a chaos creature. 
I'll have the answers I seek one way. Can I torture him for answers. Return to me when you are ready, Captain. Magically torture him, no doubt. Return to him when I'm ready. Sure. Uh four thousand odd experience points, good. What else? Two hundred gold crowns. Good. And we've unlocked a personal stash. So I've got to go and access my personal stash in the dormitory. See, we are still pretty much uh, in the stages of um, of tutorial. Because there's obviously a lot of little things we haven't yet unlocked the ability to do. Like, for example, trade. Okay, so that was all I had to do, was just look in the stash. I don't want to store anything in it, I don't think, just now. I'd rather get rid of most of the equipment that we don't need. So helmet's fine. We'll change the breastplate. Better sword available there. Just in case of boosting and getting more damage and more... Yeah. That does give us a little bit of a... Give me anything I was overly concerned about having. Uh, we'll go to the Collector's Guild now and we'll try and uh, trade some more stuff. Um, in the hope that I can maybe level up my access to the Collector's Guild. What's the quick trade? Trade all? Because we looked and there was nothing better than what we had. There we go, we got 100 gold crowns. Was that our reputation reward? And we got Tomes of Knowledge. And here's a little reward. That was that, and that was the reward. So we're at reputation level 2. Wait, tell me I haven't just taken off all my equipment. No, okay, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, that gave us something. I'm not entirely sure what, to be honest. I'm really not entirely sure what that did. Let's see what we've got here. So that's not ready to be leveled up yet. I'll tell you what, we might we might check and see if we can unlock the le Whirling Slash. Nope. We have two skill points available and we need ten. So we can't take that skill, that's a level 10 skill. Uh, level 11 is going to be the second part of Shielded Charge. Uh, that's not great. Oh wait, we've got a Wisdom of the Apothecary skill. But we need four skill points, we've only got two. Just reduce the cooldown time on our potions though. And we've got a Collector's Guild skill just there. Tomes of Knowledge, all experience points increased. Let's, let's put that on just now. You know, just that way we level up a bit quicker. Makes some sense, doesn't it? Right, we're going to speak to Teclis. He's down here. What does he want us to do now? Is with us. The he didn't need much persuasion. To turn on his human allies. Good. The creature says the leader of the cult is a man named Friedrich Kessler. Friedrich Kessler. He offered to lead us directly to the cult's shrine, located deep within the sewers. Am I going there on my own? And you trust Of course not. Creature. This has nothing to do with trust. If there is one thing that all followers of chaos have Yeah, chaos followers it's supreme are very self-interested. They will betray anyone and anything in yeah. order to protect themselves. Basically he just wants to protect himself. Not while we're holding the knife. Yeah. We're stronger than him, so it's fine. Right, well, it's still a main quest. There's no expeditions or anything else of that nature. Uh, we're assuming he's not going to turn on us. I don't really get where that assumption comes from. Why wouldn't he? As soon as he's amongst his own. So this was where we were before. Yeah, see? Told you. Why? Why wouldn't he turn on us? I mean, you know, obviously he's going to turn on us. That should have been obvious from the beginning. What is that? It's 
some sort of demon. I can't do that right now. If I can get him down, maybe that'll help me. Okay, we did something. I don't know if we've killed... Oh, that's the guy. We've killed him, but we need to take that guy out as well. I have no bloodlust. Oh wait, there's bloodlust over there. Go, go, go. Not enough to actually... Look at that thing, it's 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 really difficult to defeat. And does it heal itself? Oh no, it's just you spitting on me. me I'm gonna die. Okay, I've recovered my health a little bit. Get rid of that one while it's while we can. Look at that, that takes a lot of hits. It's very slow when it I mean when it charges that attack, it's not quick, but But we're also stuck behind stuff. And he's healing. Every time he goes away from me, he's healing there. We could really do with some of these skills being higher level. There we go, that stuns him for a little bit, but But look, he recovers his health so quickly that I don't really see how we're supposed to beat him. Because look, he's recovered all his health already. So there you go. If you do, if you give him the chance, he'll recover his health within about two seconds. If you let him do any of that, he immediately recovers. So he, look, he, his health's recovered so quickly. Is it because of this guy? We've survived the ambush, even though that guy's still alive. I don't think this I can defeat. I don't think I can defeat that guy. I think that's the problem. I can't defeat that thing. Wait, there was an exit here before. Well, we'll just have all that stuff, and then we'll have to get past him. He just ran past us. Right, so we've got to find the exit. Just pick up all the random stuff we can find there. The good news is we're a lot quicker than he is. Wait, we have to fight all this too? Screw that, I'm going up here. Is this the way out? I don't know if this is the way out or not. Well, we'll just follow the path. I think there is a way out pretty much in every direction. I'm just scared that this guy's gonna, gonna catch up to us again. Because he's the one that's going to do the most damage. Hey, why did they trust that guy? Because they're idiots. Yeah, that's why. I believed they had enough power to deal with that guy. Just to stop him from destroying us. Or stop him from fighting us, at least. And they were totally wrong. Supremely naive. I don't think that's the way we want to go. Uh oh. There we go, we got past them. I don't know how much longer we can survive this, and there's an awful lot of them. If I'd actually fought some of them before I ran away, it probably wouldn't be so bad. But I didn't do that. I'm sure I've just taken the longest possible route out of here. Oh, come on. have actually picked like one of the longest ways to get out here I think. I don't know why I went this way. I'm gonna have some trouble here. Let's just do a bit of damage just to find something there to pick up and something else. 
I probably should have fought these because now I'm in some serious danger. We've gone round in a circle. Really do with increasing my. Okay, so we've just gone right round in a big circle. Which is great. How do we get out of here? I've actually forgotten the path out of here, it would appear. That is a dead end. Literally. <laughs> yeah, I must be back the way I came to an extent. I can use that attack from time to time to jump a bit further forward, but yeah, um, I think that was that creature back there that we had trouble with. So hopefully if I do this right, I've pulled away enough enemies now that we can get out of here. Just shoot through them like that. Yeah, we don't go... Oh, there he is, Luke. There he went. So where's the exit? It's not here. Oh no. I thought I could leave the sewers. Why is it... Why is it taken like this? There is no exit. I said I could leave the sewers, but I can't leave the sewers. The last time we were here, the exit was in that area where we were fighting the guy. And this time, I don't know where the exit is. I really actually don't. That is quite frustrating. There must be a way out of the sewers. Why would it tell me to leave if there's no way out? I'd rather not fight all of them. There's not really any other paths we haven't taken. Oh, well, wait. Back this way there are. There are definitely some paths down here we haven't taken because we never went this way. Uh, oh no. This is a dead end. That's going to be a problem. I can't do that right now. I'll fight until my last breath. Mm. Just do that. Is this a dead end as well? Oh, we leveled up. Yep, that's a dead end as well. Something was flashing there for a moment. If, if I had that bloodlust skill now, I would probably do quite well. But we're nowhere near getting that. There's the exit. Because we clearly couldn't defeat that thing. I might just take a little bit of time just fighting some stuff for a little while here. Just because we can. Let's have a little bit of a fight while we're standing here, because we've, we've got some time. Whatever that creature was, though, that's down there, it was overwhelming. Definitely overwhelming. Not something you can fight on your own easily. But we survived. And that's all, apparently, we had to do. Did that guy really think, really think that we could trust that creature? Because if he did, he's either in league with them or... Yep. I had not expected this. No mere human cult could command such loyalty. No, clearly. I... Don't understand. Clearly the cult of Nurgle. Nor do I. And that troubles me. If the servants of chaos would Naive. Die, That's what they are. Naive. Then we must find another way to reach their hidden shrine. Oh, well, the only way is probably just destroy them all. Open to suggestions, Lord Yeah, I've got to go back down into sewers again. Heinrich Voss 
has more I'll admit, there is quite a bit of else in Nong. quite a bit of um, just going back and Perhaps forth to the same place over and over again. Fight another nest of chaos. What was that? Yeah. High Lord Master. I'm sure Witch Hunter Voss will be happy to Oh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. In his own his own horrible way. Okay. Decent amount of experience, some crowns. Blessing of luck's been unlocked. So that's good. So we have to go back to the tower to speak to Voss. Let's have a look at some of these things, because uh, we should have some better equipment now. That sword's not better. Uh, yes, we'll have those. Look like some high quality boots. And that gives me better health. The loot quality is better with that one, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, let's have a look at my skills, because I think we did unlock something there. You know, the thing is, I want to upgrade that Whirling Slash. I've only got three skill points. Uh, we've unlocked a different Collector's Guild skill. Uh, let's equip that just now, just to give me a bit of a boost. Um, and we'll go to the Collector's Guild and we'll get rid of all the stuff that we don't need. And that gets us somewhere towards reputation level 3. And we'll go up here. And we might make this the last part of our... The last part of our playthrough tonight. Let's speak to Voss first. You were lucky to survive the Ungor's trap. I was. Only a fool trusts the word of a servant of chaos. Yeah, it wasn't me that trusted it. Have you been spying on me, witch hunter? Uncovering secrets is part of my. It wasn't me that decided that we should trust I it. I, I, I had my reservations about it immediately. I even asked the question before we went in. <laughs> Yet you knew nothing about a chaos cult gathering strength right under your very nose. Did he? You sure about that? I haven't time to waste on idle chatter, Captain. What do you want? I want to know how we can get rid of. There is creatures. A Nurgle somewhere in the sewers. How do you find it? Yeah. How do we track it down so we can destroy it? Artists often hide their secrets in symbols etched onto their flesh. Look for elaborate tattoos on any cultists you find. Concealed in the lines may be the location of the may. shrine. May. be the way. The location. And if I bring you such a cultist, you'll be able to decode these tattoos? Will he? I only need the tattoo, Captain. The cultist is of no Alright, so just flay his skin from his body. Sounds good. But we're to find the cultist leader. Now did we not already do do that? We killed him. We killed him already. So where are we going here? Where does this take us? Back to the sewers again, no doubt. Is this just Sewer Fighter? The game? So yeah, we have to find the cultist leader down here. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do that. I'll probably make that the last mission, though, once we've, uh, once we've done that. Yeah, we'll try and see if we can find the leader. We don't really need to fight them, we just need to keep going down by the look of things. Just keep going down. Come 
lot of enemies in this room. Not too fast about fighting them, we'll just keep going. Looks like it's just down, down, down. That's the only way we're going right now. Oh wait, we want that. There's not really much going on here other than just walking along and trying to fight the trying to find their leader. It seems to take a while. Just seen another one of those bloodlust things though, that'll be useful. As we keep going down, because that's what we're doing again. It's not a difficult group to fight. More bloodlust. Oh, just keep going. I'm not even going to look at that guy. Oh, we got one of those green guys. It's not yet time. And I don't really need to be here, so we just keep going. Surely their leader must be nearby now. I don't want to use my uh, bloodlust skill yet. I can help it. Ah, here we go. This is different. Back in the sewers we go. So where's their leader going to be? That's the question. Their leader that I defeated like three times. Okay, which direction? Go down that way. To begin with. Oh, it's a dead end. I do have been able to level up my uh, uh, Well let's uh, get whatever's in here. I do have been able to level up a few more things though. Uh, let's just have a look. That sword's not any better. Gloves are. So we'll have them. That signet ring is better than the one we had on. Yeah, that's so it wasn't that way. The other way was where where we came in. So it's obviously this way. Good news is we've got our bloodlust skill sitting there at a level where it's going to be quite useful when we finally get to the guy. So I don't want to use it until we get until we find the leader of the cultists. Shouldn't have done that. This means we end up getting a lot more enemies around us though, and that's not with these enemies it's not the end of the world. With the bigger enemies then it starts to become a problem. Now if we had like two of those tentacle monsters near us, that might be an issue. Oh, why did that? That was not a clever idea at all. Oh yeah, here we go. We've got one of those annoying enemies here. Oh, we've leveled up again though. I've unlocked a new skill, Justice of the Empire. He's almost dead. He's like a shaman of some kind, is he? Get rid of him then. There we go. Uh, okay. Well, they're not. Their leader's not here, but the uh, chest was. Nothing else there, so we'll keep moving. Again, as I said, I don't want to waste my bloodlust just yet. None of these enemies here are particularly difficult. Interested to see what that other skill is. Probably find we don't have enough skill points to buy it or something though. So these little things aren't too difficult to defeat. 
Oh, what's this? This is a little different. It's like, like a paddle steamer. Just uh, give ourselves a little bit of a strength boost there for a minute. Is it, is it a boat? Or is it a building? What are they doing? They're trying to attack me and they're down below where they can't get to me just yet. A lot of uh, spinning wheels. Oh look, we're getting attacked from down below with those slowing attacks. Yeah, I think we might have to... That's their leader. We might have to use our bloodlust soon. No point worrying about the green guy because he will recover his health so fast. Oh no, we've got him, we've got him, we've got him. We have. We killed it. Which is good because it was actually probably the most annoying thing to fight. No bloodlust though there, you see that? No bloodlust extensions. And the leader's down there. So how do we get to him? At the end of here it looks like. Oh, there's some bloodlust. We've got him in the middle of this area, just what we wanted. There's a little bloodlust pickup, but we're in the wrong place. But at least that skill we didn't get to use it really. This must be the tattoo the witch hunter was talking about. We got his tattoo. Now presumably we can get out here this way. I am making a bit of an assumption there, but Too hard. I think discretion's the better part of valor this time. Just a few more seconds. Not yet time. Mm, need all this bloodlust. Oh, there's one of those green guys. I need to get out away from him. I need to get away from him fast. And we've gone the wrong way. Uh oh. I need to move. I need to move. So that way doesn't get us out of here. Maybe this way will. There, there we go. I can see the exit. And it's not there. It's down below somewhere. Yeah, here we go. This should take us there, I think. There we go, we can get out at long last and bring a map of flesh to the witch hunters. And we're back. So we'll head to Voss in the tower and that'll probably be about the end of things tonight. Um, but let's get up there first. Bring him the flesh of the nasty demon creature. I've done my part, witch hunter. Take this foul thing and tell me what it says. The yeah, please do. Difficult to decipher. Return to High Law Master Teclis when you're ready. I shall have the location for you then. He'll have the location for me when I return to Teclis. Uh, we got like seven thousand experience there. Got 300 gold and some extra skill points, which is quite useful actually because there's a lot of skills that we can actually unlock. 
Uh, right, let's have a look at that before we do anything else. Uh, we've got a bit of a boost again, weapons-wise. Ooh, I can get a Warhammer. Now, presumably the attack speed will be slower. Um, yeah, let, let's try a Warhammer. Just feel like something different. Um, I think, to be honest, I prefer those gloves. 10% critical, 15 maximum health. Oh no, actually, slight improvement on those. Uh, boots. 11 health. It is better, but what's it missing? It's just the counter attack damage. No, I think we will put those on actually. Shield's going to be pretty good. The block chance isn't as isn't as good, but everything else is much better. That's no use. Slight improvement with that veteran's medal. Skills. So we have only seven points. Uh, I did want to see there was a new skill we found there that we'd unlocked, but we don't actually have. So Justice of the Empire will unleash a powerful strike to the ground that damages and slows enemies. We have got Break Through the Ranks, which is a shield attack, and Shield of Charge, which is a shield attack. And the Break Through the Ranks does far less damage, to be honest. I think I might put that on that skill instead. No, oh damn. Messed that up. Because now, I'm going to change that back to the first skill that we had. It's that one that I want to change, I think. No, not that one. Yeah, break through the ranks. It doesn't do a lot of damage at the moment. Um, this does a heck of a lot more damage. So we'll use that instead. Uh, I think that's going to be it for now, guys. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in tonight. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching Warhammer Chaos Bane. We'll probably come back to this at some point soon. But we've also got uh, Lost Odyssey. We've got to finish off Discworld 2. Um, and I am going to get to putting up some more YouTube videos that we don't do on stream as well. Uh, but for now, thanks for tuning in. I will catch you all again next time. Good night.